how you doing guys welcome back uh, this is part two of the excavator repair bobcat excavator repair video um, I had to break this video up uh, into two sections it was just getting too long anyway uh, the, the majority of the big work is done the things we got left all I got to do what I'm working on now is I got to adjust the, the rod here that controls the, the valve for the track just to just to get the tracks where they're working evenly and then the other main thing is just trying to get the thumb cylinder to work appropriately uh, i really i really need that working i'm hoping to get a, a hydraulic tilt bucket a ditch bucket for this thing and uh i'll have to i'll have to use those same controls that, that operate the thumb to operate that ditch bucket so i mean also i really need the thumb working right um I use it a lot, but uh, that's what we're going to work on this video, and I'm going to take it out and finish cleaning out this ditch I've been digging uh, in, in the previous video, um, but that's what we got going. Let's, let's get to it. We're turning back the other way. Uh, those are half turns. Two half turns, three, four. Let's try that out. Go back digging on this ditch a little bit more.
so look like all in all machine is pretty fixed the thumb keeps falling down it's driving me nuts i tried strapping it up it broke my strap so i am gonna have to get that straightened out but machine's usable uh we fixed a lot of problems that it did have uh i'm about to come back and finish digging this ditch out later i gotta go meet a guy now checking out a checking out a skid steer so but i'll, I'll film me finishing this out so y'all can see that but we'll catch you later all right we're back out here the skid steer we went and looked at was a piece of junk so definitely did not purchase uh, so i'm just gonna continue digging this ditch out
Well, that ditch is a lot better. This pipe's gonna drain water a lot better. Get the pipe cleaned up, but it'll probably clean itself out now that the water runs. But anyway, I guess we'll end the video there. I'm sure it's already long enough. Only other thing I need to do on this machine is figure out why that thumb isn't working. I'm pretty sure it's the valve. But just to recap, we changed the swivel. We put a new, or had the starter rebuilt, put a new ignition switch in, put a new light switch in. We adjusted up the arms because they had a lot of play in them. Uh, we had that thumb cylinder rebuilt. That's not a problem anymore. Now the problem is the valve, which I kind of figured was messed up, but we wouldn't know for sure until I got the thumb rebuilt. Um, we've got a couple of these leaky hoses fixed and straightened out. Um, I know there was the oil pressure switch was leaking, and we got that replaced. Uh, all in all, it's running strong, so. That concludes this video. All right, so we've got almost everything fixed on this thing. Um, I just now need to get in here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this thumb working right. You can see right now I've got it held up by a strap. Pretty sure we're dealing with a bad valve. Uh, hopefully I can just take it apart, put some new O-rings on it. Uh, but there's only one way to find out. We're gonna have to get inside and see. So here we go. <clears throat> Let's take this plate back off again for the 99th time. Uh oh. That thing tight. Like might pop off and blow your face off tight? No, like might strip this screw tight. Thirty-eight. Yeah. It, it was thirty-eight and a half, so we had to hit thirty nine. He had thirty nine with like a few seconds left in the fourth. So that shit pissed me off and then uh I'll keep fixing all my Fix this valve. Oh, Grayson Allen too. I had him less than nine points, and he was gonna pop off like fifteen. Yeah, they whole team popped off. Yeah, Drew, Drew Holiday. <laughs> Drew Holiday was. <laughs> he was cutting up. Wasn't they it? said uh, during the game, they said uh, All Star Drew Holiday or whatever, and I was kind of thinking to myself like, Yeah, he's good. I don't think he's like All Star good. They don't have made that. And I, so I was like, Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. And they got Jay Crowder from us too. Yeah. You know Jay Crowder for me is disgusting. Then yeah, I watched play. that Warriors game. I didn't watch that one on the I was watching that game and then I was watching the, went off. Did it? The yeah. call finally, dude. Yeah. I wish he'd start playing like himself again. Hell, he came out in the first three minutes. It wasn't even the first three minutes. It really was like the first two minutes. He already had a little point. Get these two screws off. Impact made a world of difference. I watched that. That. Bucks Celtics game, and then I watched uh, also watched the Raptors and Magic. And I watched listen, my, my viewers don't want to hear none of your foosball. I guarantee they want to hear more of that. Than anything, my viewers, it's basketball season now. If they on YouTube watching equipment videos, it's because they don't care crap about foosball. Yeah, you probably <laughs> I, I watched half of that Suns Kings game. Yeah, y'all won, mm -hmm. you know, the Kings. All right, so where I'm at now, I, I went ahead and took the took the seat out all these panels out that way i can access this this control valve a lot easier i need to be able to get into the back of it i took these two hoses off um i don't know what the part's called but the, on the back of this valve i believe i need to take that off and then i can disassemble the valve uh hopefully 
What I'm hoping for is I can just pull this rod out. Maybe there's a blown O-ring on it. Replace the O-ring, put it back together, and it'll be good. But I guess we run the potential that this that rod could be scored on the inside and that valve might need to be replaced or fixed by a professional. But <clears throat> there's only, only one way to find out. We've got to take it apart and take it apart and see. I'm gonna have to get something to try to cover this up uh, before we get dirt in there. I didn't have any caps big enough for that. I don't know why that's so much larger than everything else. All it does is control the thumb. It's got the largest hose I see in here. But but that's where we are. Let's see. Let's see where we go. Might as well color coat this stuff just in case I end up taking a lot of hoses off. I want to forget where they go. All right, I've made myself a little bit of room here. Disconnecting some of these hoses. Right down here. Let's see. Here's what I'm trying to get. If I find a spot where you'll be able to see. How's that? Nope, not on rubber oil on the screen. Did it turn? Kind of felt like it. Oh yes, it is free. Okay, it's out. All that trouble for that. Okay, that rear cap feels loose now. It covers the spring. Ooh, it does not look good in there. Can y'all see that? It does not look good. Yep, pulls right out the back. Uh, the spring end is really rusty, but the rest of it looks good. I think. Question is, how do you change out the seals? That I do not know. All right, where we're at now, I've got all these hoses. I think uh, there's actually, a, I think maybe one more hard line still connected. I've got to disconnect. But I've got all the hard, all the hoses, hoses marked and disconnected. All I got to do now is, like I say, I think disconnect one more hard line, unbolt that control unit, and I can pull it out. We can take it apart, see if it's something we can tackle, um, or maybe send it off to a hydraulic shop to be rebuilt. Hopefully, it's something we can tackle in house. But. Wait, what is that? This? Mm -hmm. Control valve. It's like the main control valve. Take that whole thing out of there. Try to look at one of them. Was the one you need like way in there somewhere? Uh, the one I need to look at is here. But they're all bolted together. Mm -hmm. Kind of works like a unit somewhat. You might have that repacked too? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to see. Maybe I take it apart and I can just put some new rings in it and keep rolling. Or maybe it's going to be smarter to send it and let them rebuild it. It'll be fun to get back in there. God, I've already moved a lot of stuff out of the way too. So I got her in here 
cleaned up cleaned up somewhat um, like I say I don't have a great understanding of how these work but I'm thinking I mean I know there's a through bolt that runs through all of these individual valves clamps them all together and I'm pretty sure there's o-rings in between each one and I'm wondering if one of those o-rings from here to there uh, is is what failed <clears throat> um, I really don't know but the only way to find out is take it apart and look see what we're dealing with uh, so that's what I'm gonna start working on now Copper hammer, hammer, so it shouldn't damage the threads. Clean it up and probably get the wrench on them. Yeah, I didn't clean the bottom. Need to lean this on something. Oh yeah, that's the easiest one yet. Okay, so if my calculations are correct, there's nothing else holding this thing. Yep, oh, yep, correct. It's a little spring. I really don't want to take any of this apart. It doesn't need to come apart. This is the valve that controls that thumb cylinder. I'm hope, hoping to be able to look at it and see what the issue is, but so far I can't really tell. I'm not exactly sure how these function. So hoping not to get in here and see some kind of o-ring torn obviously problem change it get back to business doesn't look like that's what we're going to be doing so i've been sitting out here thinking about what i'm trying what i'm going to do because i mean nothing looks wrong with any of this stuff um leads me to believe that the problem must be elsewhere i really don't have any idea what it, what it could be um but i guess for now i need to just get this stuff cleaned up and put back together i guess i really need to spend time because there's a lot of dirt in between these blocks that we don't need getting on these mating surfaces so i'm probably got to go and just try to clean them all off the best i can 
put them back together. We got, a, we got a little rain last night or this morning i'm not really sure which so i walked down here to check out this this ditch we dug see how it's working it appears to be working really well a few little small pockets of water they'll fill up with sediment and correct themselves uh, in no time so pleased with this um, but also on the agenda today we're still working on the mini excavator uh you know previously where we were at we had that control valve pulled out um i've been working on putting it back together i wasn't I, or putting it back in i wasn't really filming that process because it's kind of just redundant um plus this video gets super long anyway if i don't break it up into at least two parts i may i'm not sure um but what i'm doing i'm, I'm just working on putting that control valve assembly back in and i really don't know i don't know what could be preventing the thumb from opening back up um, unless it's something stupid like the hose is collapsed internally uh, one of them does look like it might have got hit on something so maybe it maybe it's just smashed maybe it's something that simple and that easy i'm gonna take it off and go i'm gonna go take it off and go have a new one made just to check because uh you know one of the important lessons that i often overlook and have to relearn is to check the simple stuff first a lot of times i make things a lot more complicated than it has to be thinking it's some kind of big problem and it ends up being like like today we've already wasted two days pulling that thing out putting it back in and maybe it is something simple or maybe it's not i don't know we'll find out uh if i can, if it's not the hose then i'm really clueless and i'll probably just upload this video without the thumb operating and hopefully somebody will see it that knows knows what's going on and can can fill me in but that's where we're at we're gonna get back to it So we got it going back. I just spent the past hour and a half fighting this hard line down here. Oh. Definitely about to give up and go get a soft line made to go there. Major pain. Uh, but I guess I'll probably just put you guys on time lapse and put the rest of these hoses on.
So what we got going on now? I was going to just replace this hose that drives the thumb cylinder back up, but instead I've decided to switch these and just see if we get anything different. Uh, I think I had enough hydraulic oil to at least test this out. I definitely didn't have enough to fill it up. So I'm gonna break my strap back loose, fire it up and see what we got. <clears throat> Hard to do one-handed. Here, honey, will you hold that? All right, everybody, everybody got your fingers crossed? I think it died. final verdict i think it's the hose as you can see now the thumb retracts but it won't really push out i don't know why it's kind of doing that sponging thing which sponging back out but it's just the pressure that can't leave the, the cylinder because now the vent hose is on the, on the other side only way to be sure get a new hose but i think that's it so yeah i think we spent like 14 days ripping that out and replacing it for nothing all for fun. Well, I kind of knew this was going to be the verdict, but <laughs> just so y'all can learn, I want to show you what not to do. You know, simple, check the simple things first. Y'all, y'all remember the acronym KISS. Keep it simple, stupid head. Yeah, we're going to cut that. All right. <laughs> and look at that. Look at that. Another really nice day. Really nice. The middle of February. It's got to be... 65 degrees or something like that out here it feels like spring i don't even i don't even know what to do with myself but just got back from napa stopped by the napa had them make these little hoses today they were this saturday i think the only place i know of was open that can make them uh here they are two new i went ahead and replaced both of them there's the only one of them really i suspected was bad but they're they're both going to be new I will get the old one out and show you the suspected problem um, so that if this turns out to be the problem with the thumb cylinder you'll know what's going on I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to look at the screen of this thing so I can see what your view looks like but, uh, yeah you see I don't know if you can see let me get the light better you see where it looks like that hose got a little a little cramped i mean i would not have thought that would be stopping the flow in this hose but i mean that's why i didn't i didn't check this um first like i say check check simple stuff first though i mean i may have pulled that i mean i already i already know i pulled that whole control valve assembly out for no for no reason um but it's just a matter of is is this is that the pro is this hose the problem? Um, we did did a little test did our, did a little little test yesterday where I swapped the hoses around and it, it worked in the reverse that it normally does, where it 
would push the thumb back up fine, but it wouldn't push it back down. So, I mean, that's telling me it was definitely the hose. The only way to be 100% sure is slap these on and see what happens. So, let's, let's do that now. All right, that's on. Might add some, add some, add some hydraulic fluid back in this thing, and we'll we'll find out. We'll find out if I made a mountain out of a molehill. Probably what's going to happen is I'm going to upload this video without it working. And hopefully somebody that knows what they're looking at point me in the right direction. Alright, so... Alright, so I think I got it fixed. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll take you and show you what's going on. <clears throat> better light um yeah so this this here i don't know what this is uh it's got this rod coming out of it you can tell it's got some sort of cylinder in there that is meant to move back and forth i'm guessing it's some kind of diverter valve um this rod sticks out of the front hole of the control panel you can see the stickers um i don't know what they mean Um, but I've never been able to move this because I I've never had this off this off. But I often wondered if this was how you switch the machine from you know back back backhoe controls to you know the alternate controls because it's always been stuck in backhoe mode. Um, and I figured this was what changed it, and that was just not working but uh, that doesn't appear to be the case now um 
Because like I say, I never remember this being able to move. I mean, maybe at some point, while that thumb cylinder was bent, it got pushed in. And I mean, because I've tried to mess with it. I tried to mess with it yesterday. Um, but I finally took my pry bar and stuck it in the back and pressed this cylinder, pressed the cylinder out. And now, now it functions. I thought it was a fluke, so I pushed it back in and it was doing the same thing it was doing before. Pulled it back out, now it's functioning properly. Um, so I don't know, maybe we can call that fixed. Uh, we, we certainly wasted two days pulling a control panel out for no reason. Um, but that's okay. I'll leave that in the video. Uh, cause I, I decided when I started this channel that I would show my failures along with my triumphs. Um, I don't want to walk around pretending like we get everything right all the time. Cause a lot of times we don't, but Hey, I mean, as long as it's working, I'm happy. I guess I, ha I can't say I'm really sold that it, that, I mean, I don't know. Evidently that's what it was. I'm going to roll with it. Uh, now I just need to put all this crap back together once again, then we can go play. that concludes part two of this video thank you guys for watching uh everything is good and ready to go on the machine now it was a little bit of a process to get there but um i'm happy about it we got a job starting next week we need to get it out on so make sure y'all catch that video as well thank you for watching